Uh, not too long ago, I think about two weeks ago, Jorge Jesus claimed that John Henderson's the best midfielder in the world. Uh, Steve McManaman was comparing him to, to De Bruyne, perhaps not in so much the way he, he plays a through ball, but perhaps the impact that he can have on a team. I'm not sure entirely what he meant. Are you in agreement there? He's got an impact. He's got that aura around the place. He, as, as we've talked about over the weekend, he, he tries to, to be that leader. Um, an unselfish performance. We've seen in the start of the second period there, he had a wonderful shot with his left foot and it was a brilliant save by De Gea onto the post. That probably would have put a few doubters actually in, in getting a good goal, a good strike, rather than that unselfish performance. Uh, but, you know, he, he, he saves the right things right till the end and it was a great little clip that's the end of saying, really, is it Jordan Henderson, yeah. is it not me? He <laughs> wanted the man of the match. But, um, no, it, it's a team performance and I think... He typifies that regarding team John Henderson. We've seen him when he hasn't played. You've seen him coming on, trying always trying to encourage his team, and uh, he's obviously turned out to a very good captain. But you haven't answered my question. No. Best midfielder? No. No, he's not. He's not. There's, there's so many uh, better midfielders. What he has got, he's got leadership, and he can affect the game. And I, I think he's very important to, to 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 Liverpool's formation, the dynamics, and. I think he has got a great relationship with the manager. Do you feel they're stronger with him inside the lineup as opposed to not playing? Well, I think you'd have to say he's he, he's he's definitely stronger because I think he drives the team. He he gets the the rest of his players around him. Ability-wise is what's questioned because he's not got that flair. But what he makes up with is is his understanding, the way he 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 gets around the pitch and, and pulls other people around him. And uh, it's been a wonderful season for him. And, and no Fabinho since November, so, um, since he's done his ankle, he's back on the bench. So more competition is placed in that midfield, and we've seen Oxley Chamberlain as well come in. Best midfielder? No, definitely not. Um, but it, but he has a, a very important role to play at Liverpool. The problem that they, Liverpool will have is when everybody is fit, if everybody is fit, a little bit like Manchester City, who do you leave out? Because you're going to be leaving out great players. And that's, that's the problem. So you're gonna, there'll, be, there'll be certain games where Klopp has 15 of his best players to pick from and he's got to leave four out. And, and that's going to be the issue for him. We see that Man City, you know, David Silva gets left out one way, then it's Bernardo Silva. And then De Bruyne is on the bench and you're thinking, well, hang on a minute, what's, Aguero gets dropped from time to time. Uh, Sterling's on the bench. You know, there's such an embarrassment of riches at these football clubs that there are going to be some very, very good players miss out. And, and that's going to be probably Klopp's biggest dilemma. Yeah. See, I, I think Jurgen Klopp would say that Henderson is absolutely crucial to my team and to the success that we've had across the last two seasons and that we're going to have come the end of this season. And, and if you look at some of Henderson's figures, right, last season they finished second in the league. 38 Premier League games, he played in 33 of them, OK? They won the, the, the Champions League, that's 13 games. He played in 11 of those 13 games. This season, if you look at the Premier League, they've now played 22 Premier League games. He's played in 21 of them. Look at the Champions League, they're through into the knockout stages. Six games in the group stage, he played in four of them. So he's absolutely huge, you know, Super Cup winner against Chelsea, played in the game. Club World Cup winner, played in two games out there against Monterey and Flamingo. Henderson is absolutely fundamental, in my opinion, to so, Liverpool so football what club. does he do with Fabinho now he's fit, though? That's what I'm saying, because yeah. Fabinho at the start of the season was, was, the, was probably starting to get that role as the best well, holding midfield player in the Premier League. Well, well, and that's well, what I'm saying. It's, it's that juggling process of sure. some great players that's yeah. going to be difficult for Klopp. Yeah. Of course, and, 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 and that will come down to the skill of Jurgen Klopp as to who he picks, where he plays them, how he rotates them and everything. But I, I think that, I've said it already, Henderson is fundamental. I think if you ask Klopp that question, that is the answer he would give you as well. Um, and yes, there will be times when he plays a slightly different three in midfield, which doesn't include Henderson. But I would suggest that the vast majority, as per those stats I've just given you, backs it up. Henderson is fundamental to Liverpool. Who were the first players that you would look at if Klopp had to tinker around and swap out players? You probably would say Alisson keeps his place, Van Dijk. Mm. Who else? The two fullbacks. The two fullbacks? Without doubt. 
Okay. Robertson and Alexander are. So these yeah. are players who are basically undroppable for Liverpool if they're fit and it's oh. a league match and it's important. Salah, Firmino yeah. and Mane. Yeah. Front the, okay. the, the, the only players you're going to tinker with are Gomez or Matip. Possibly. Possibly. I mean, earlier in the season he preferred Matip, now he prefers Gomez. So there's, there's not much in between that. And it's then the right it's... side of the three. Yeah. That's what yeah. it is. If Firmino is the base... Who's going to yeah. play that right side? Is you know, Oxley Chamberlain, whether he switches Henderson or Wijnaldum. That's maybe just that area. Wijnaldum seems to have got that position. Henderson now can go to the right if he brings Fabinho in. Uh, but I know Danny really likes Oxley Chamberlain. Yeah. But I just think, I just think that there's there's one more player in that area to make them even better. That would be the one position I would say. Um, well, we, we haven't even mentioned one. Naby Keita. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I, I know and he's a great player, yeah. but I don't think he's. Well, we haven't. He's been injured. We haven't yeah. seen the best of him. We haven't yet. seen since he's joined the club. F- that was a little bit like Fabinho. We was like, oh, not quite sure. And all of a sudden, after six months, where you went, wow, he's now starting to look maybe a bit similar with Wijnaldum. Takes players a while to settle. Kate has been injured yeah. again. Again, that's another player that's going to be in that midfield area. See, and Gary, you could, Gary's throwing Minamino as well. Yeah, coming in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gary's saying Hedison's crucial, but in your selection of the combined eleven, you said the only decision you had to make was. Oxley Chamberlain or Henderson? Do you think Henderson is crucial to this I lineup think, as I much as Gary ha- I think does? He, I think he has been, but I think going forward, that Liverpool are so dominant, and the way that they play, teams, the way that teams sometimes sit back, maybe they just need a little bit more creativity, you know, in that front, in that midfield three. At times, if, if Fabinho is the holder, you know, Van Dijk and Gomez behind that, hardly anyone that ever gets past those. The fullbacks bomb on. And then it's like, well, actually, and it's those two creative midfield players. Who, who is that going to be? If Fabinho sits, does Henderson give you enough in some of those games where you need that little bit extra creativity? I think I when know. it's tight and the games are tough, I think Jurgen Henderson Klopp plays. realises him. That's when Henderson, yeah. and you're saying about all the, t- the top games, that's when he'll put him in because he realises he gives that extra bit of grit. But on the other hand, what Danny's saying regarding ability and creativity... Um, he maybe he lacks a touch, um, but he, we're not sitting here criticising John Henderson. We're just saying ability-wise, there's probably better midfielders out there. But he he does a great job for the club. He's the captain. He's the leader, and and he's 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 proven a, a you know a very worthy captain all the way through the season. Yeah, big shoes to fill as well. Steven Gerrard. He seems to have overcome many odds throughout his career. Mm. Many. Yeah, but he's going to win the league as a winning captain. Stephen Gerrard never did that. Well, that's my point. I know, exactly. I know he's, not, he's a club legend and he's a scouser, um, which obviously is, is, is a huge difference. You know, one club man and, and all the rest of it. Uh, but he's going to be the first captain for 30 years to lift a title. Well, and first captain to lift the Premier League trophy ever for Liverpool. No one's ever done that. Well, it's because it's the last else. time it was 30 years ago and the Premier League didn't It'll, exist. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so for the first league title for 30 years. And he's going to lift it. Simple as that. So, you know, he will go down in, in Liverpool folklore. There are a lot of Liverpool fans that have never, ever seen Liverpool win the league. So, you know, they, all, all they will know is Jordan Henderson as, mm. as, the, as the captain that lifted the title. Fair? Yeah, nothing else to say. I've, I've made my case. I'm, I'm resting my case. Fair play. Henderson's the man. All right. 